Hello everyone, Ragnella here with another episode of Monster Hunter Free Me Night. We are continuing on with the Monster Showcase, with this monster being the Queen Vespoid. Yeah, there's a queen of these uh, annoying little bug things that we've been seeing up to this point. But the, uh, the Queen Vespoid isn't one to really... Uh, I, I would say you don't want to take it very lightly. But um, unlike other quests, kind of like the King Shakalaka, there is a, uh, a a little addendum into fighting this monster. So the Queen Vespoid is not available right away. Instead, you have to take on and kill a, a bunch of Vespoids before agitating her and forcing her to come out. Now, I initially had thought that uh, all the Vespoids I would ever need were going to be in Area 6, where this fight is going to take place with the Queen Vespoid. No, it turns out that's not the case. So, instead, you have to go all around the entire zone killing Vespoids until the Queen just comes out. And according to the wiki, you have to kill 25 Vespoids in order to aggravate the Queen to come out. And you've probably already noticed, but there is another large monster, if you're looking at the minimap, and uh, that's that's just a Velocidrome. It's it's not much of a threat at all. In fact, he, he'll just come in and just say hello, and then you slap it around a few times, and then he just, you know, drops dead. But the good thing is, is that this is high rank, and so probably at this point, you either have a Hypnocatrice armor, or at least parts of armor, and you're you're uh, you're lacking uh, more materials. So if you need some some more stuff, then uh, getting some Velocidrome materials can't hurt. But uh, it's not going to really last a whole lot in the long run. Uh, also, you might be noticing that uh, that weird fast forward symbol in the lower lower left hand corner, and uh, also this the game is going really freaking fast. Well, I have the playback speed at about 75% faster. And that's, that's only because most of this quest is just going to be finding and killing Vespoids. That's really it. So there's, it's a lot of downtime to a, a large monster that eh, I would say it, it, wouldn't, it doesn't really last very long. The Queen Vespoid uh, isn't too hard to kill, but again, it's not a monster you want to underestimate. Because uh, eh, she can take you by surprise. She can do a lot of damage. And even in this quest with, uh, I, I believe I'm still wearing the G-Rank armor, uh, she uh, came close to carting me, and only because I wasn't really uh, paying attention to how much damage she was dealing. And we'll get to that, uh, the reason why, in a moment. But um, something to keep in mind when you're hunting these Vespoids is that they do respawn if you kill them. So uh, if you've cleaned out an area and you're not seeing any Vespoids, then it's either they haven't spawned in yet or they just quit. So a qu really easy and quick way to, to check to see if they've actually respawned is just to leave the area and then go right back in. So if that's the case and there are more that are ready to respawn, then uh, they'll be made available right away for you to uh, go off and kill. But, and you've probably noticed this by now, the challenge of this quest is, is just hitting these Vespoids. They, um... They move around a lot, and they have the, that stinger that can do paralysis, and so it's, uh, man, it's it's super annoying to be hit by it. But, and I'm not sure if we ever went over this in an earlier episode, we probably did, but if you are hurting for uh, Vespoid materials, use a poison smoke bomb, because that uh, that will poison the monster without having to destroy it. So you notice how I'm swinging a sword, it's hitting them once, and then they're just flat out dying. Poison smoke bombs, they will sap the uh, the monster's health to zero, and then they'll die for you to carve. And it's guaranteed carve so long as the poison kills them, instead of, you know, hitting them with your weapon. But uh, aside from that, I think that's uh, about it when it comes to the uh, uh, this portion of the quest. Uh, there's still, um, still a lot of hunting of Vespoids to be had until... The, uh, the queen is ready to come out. And in fact, I, w uh, I didn't check the wiki before doing this quest, so uh, I'm just thinking, oh, I'm, I'm going to go on a slaughtering spree of Vespoids in sight, and we'll just see how that goes. So I wasn't keeping track of the amount of Vespoids I was killing. 
But uh, speaking of the Vespoid Queen, there was a, uh, I believe it was a DLC quest in Monster Hunter Freedom 2 that uh, this game is based on called the Queen Vespoid. And all that was is a super large Vespoid that had more health and hit a little harder. But aside from that, it was, um, it was just a Vespoid. In this game, it's a full-on new monster, and I think that was a, a pretty cool route to go. Even though that this uh, uh, this queen bee could be a real nuisance uh, just from the attacking side, but um, on that note, your best friend in this quest it's gonna be flash bombs. Just uh, flat out, just say it right now. Flash bombs, best friend. Don't don't do this quest without him. And so this is our queen Vespoid. Look at her; she is massive, and so. She has, uh, I wouldn't say a variety of attacks, uh, of attacks, but um, two of them are gonna do quite a bit of damage. And you're gonna see the first one here, which is this acid spray. Now this does two things. Thing one, you get defense down. So immediately you are more susceptible to being hit by other attacks. The second thing that it does is it makes all the other Vespoids in the area much more aggressive. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be hounded by bugs left and right, but that's what a flash bomb is for. And because this is generation two, the flash, bo the flash bomb will work for the same duration no matter what flash bomb is thrown. So if your first one hits, uh, it will do so much uh, duration time for the Vespoid being stung. And if you hit it with the fourth time, you, you get the same amount of duration. So flash bombs, very helpful for this quest. But um, also you can... Uh, see here that uh, the the Vespoid Queen almost got me carded and that's because that defense down and being able to do a slight combo uh, on me as well as just broken hitboxes but aside from that this monster will not last very long again most of this quest is just going to be finding the Vespoids to kill and you're going to see a great example of the uh, of the annoyance that is the acid spray so I'm just getting hounded by all these Vespoids just to get my two carves off the queen. So yeah, not really, uh, uh, not really worth it in, in the long run, but, um, there are some, uh, materials that you can make from the stuff that you get off this monster. But anyways, that's going to do it for me in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any of my other content, feel free to hit on one of those annotations. I'll be featured at the end of this video, or if you want to support the channel, subscribing is a great help, but until next time, take care, people.